How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Daughters of Ash. Right before I started recording, I ran out here to kill the Silver Knight, because I was going to do my intro standing right here, and he dropped something, so let's see what it was. That is tempting. I will readily admit that is fairly tempting. It is a dex weapon, though. Um, though I can't even use it yet. We'll think about it, though. We will think about it. So, last time, if you didn't watch, we kind of did a lot of stuff. We ran through the uh, Painted World. We made it to Anor Londo. Did some of the stuff here, at least to get to this point. And what we're going to do this time is make our way through, get to... Um, hear a Titanite Demon, and I'm guessing that's not because I hear that one. It's because he's been moved in here. Oh. Well, we can start off doing Lawtrek as well. Yep, there you are. <laughs> I knew it. Anyways, yeah, if all goes well, uh, which hopefully it does, we will end up fighting Ornstein and Smo this time. That, that sounds fun. And by Ornstein, I mean Ornstein. I don't, I don't know why I decided to say it that way. <laughs> or you know what? We might just die to the Titanite Demon here. That could work too. It's always an option, you know. You got to keep your options open as you go through Dark Souls. Think outside the box, you know. Why die to ONS when I could just die to this guy and save all that time? <laughs> I wasn't kidding. See? Oh boy. Good start to our episode here. So yeah, as I was saying, we're going to try and finish up An Orlando for now. There's actually a bit more to do in An Orlando in the mod. Um, but we'll finish up what we can do for now. I was kind of hoping that would stagger. Don't know why I decided to risk it. There was literally no reason to. Um, and then with any time that's remaining, we'll probably go through and clear up some stuff that we haven't done yet. Like... I'm remembering that we never killed Iron Golem. Um, because we came in Anor Londo the, like, super secret way. Uh, we haven't done Gargoyles yet, and we can, because I got the Stone Gauntlets, which should be heavy enough to ring the bell. Hey, that's not good. Um, they didn't spawn there when we went there before, but I think once we ring the bell, they will. Once again, I don't know why I'm taking all these risky swings. I guess because this guy just takes so long to kill. It's annoying. And uh, maybe we'll go down to the catacombs. I don't know. Or maybe we'll go towards Quillog. I don't know. See, the, the world is open to us at this point. All right. Um, let us use this. And I'm assuming that since it puts us here, it's actually going to teleport us here, not to that other room, which might be bad, but we'll see. Yeah. Yeah. I uh, don't think I have really anything to help me here, so let's well. do it. Look at you. I thought you were wiser. But I thought wrong. Tis a terrible pity. Like a moth flittering towards a flame. You fellows, no? Okay. Don't you agree? <laughs> this is not great. Ooh, alright, alright. Tables have possibly turned. Really? It's a stagger every hit, huh? Absolutely destroyed. Come on. As Sonic would say, come on, step it up. You looking at. Already? Now, I'm assuming that the 
Oh, now it's just the ring of the embraced, not the fap ring. Still says breaks when removed, so good to know. Probably won't be equipping it right now, if ever. <laughs> it's one of those funny things, right? It's like, well, if it's just going to break when I remove it, then I'll never put it on. Hello. Sure. Where's the way out? I'm so lost right now. Aha. That's one of the weirdest mimic drops that I've ever seen. <laughs> 40 throwing knives. Yay? Whatever. Now, I'm assuming that as with the uh, lower undead berg skip, that there's probably an invisible wall here. Or that half of the castle is just missing. Because the mod creator did not want us to be able to take the shortcut. I will try it one more time, but yeah, there's definitely an invisible wall there. It's fine, I said, hello. War pick and bandit's knife. Kind of weird. Yeah, makes sense. Uh huh. It was worth a shot. So as mentioned, we get some kind of interesting and unique stuff in Anne Orlando in this mod. Didn't see the chain very well. Oh, all right. Um, we get like an entire new, not necessarily a new section, but like this whole kind of interesting thing in Anne Orlando. I will say, though, I'm a little bit disappointed that the paintings have not been replaced with George Costanza. There is a mod for that, and I think it should have been incorporated, but... Oop! Haha! Big brain. Nice. Not here, though. Ah. That's one of the most awkward little encounters ever. All right, I guess. I feel like for that to really be useful, you have to get it much earlier. I mean, granted, I want to make sure there aren't any dudes hiding in the corners. Granted, uh, you could come here pretty early, technically. We're just doing it relatively late. But yeah, normally by this time, like, souls are not really an issue anymore, so it doesn't really matter buying Homeward Bones. Just one. My parry game is on point today. Wow, I got the complete set now. Well, 
not the spear, I guess. That uh, is a, actually a really good shield. But it's not better than the Grass Crest. Another rune. We did discuss what those do. Um, was not able to make it work. But you basically need a runic weapon, if you didn't see the uh, the previous one, where I talked about that. I do actually have one in the form of the runic washing pole. But I don't know. I think you got to like kill an enemy with the rune active to get the effect, and I can't even wield that weapon, so whatever. Ooh, and just frickin' impaled on that. <laughs> what a shame. That should insta-kill you, but I'm kinda glad it doesn't. I right, don't know if that'll be helpful at all to me, but now we have it. You know, I'm pretty sure that's a rare drop. You go away. Hopefully they won't follow me in here. Looks like no. I already have uh, the Hawk Ring, so it's not going to be that. Whatever. Okay, so what do we got here? Oh, it lays out all the uh, all the options that we currently have available, I guess. I don't have that though, so I don't know why it's giving me that option. I guess maybe those are all the great sword ones. You can go buy these. All right. Nothing supremely useful there at the moment. Oh, hi. So we'll go ahead and open that, and then uh, I guess we'll just go straight for ONS. Once again, hoping that it's the same. Really hoping that it's the same. Did not mean to aggro both of them, so I guess we will skip it. I thought I was going to slip right past that one. Don't know why I thought that, but I did. Still dropping Titanite chunks? Maybe. All right, let's go back. I'm going to kindle that bonfire, and then uh, we'll go do O and S. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and pop one of these. It didn't seem to make that big a difference during the Sif and Artorias fight, but it's something. Here goes nothing. We will hope and pray that Ornstein is still two hits to stagger, as we would expect him to be. Ooh. That's actually not bad. <laughs> it's not bad at all.
Yeah, that's really not bad at all. Excellent. Stagger. Wow. Dang, I almost pulled that off. I'm actually going to get him over here because Super Smo is going to spawn right where he's standing, and I don't really want that. All right, now as long as we don't get, like, two super guys at one time... It looks normal. I don't know. It looks normal. Uh, what? Have you ever seen that before? I think that's actually the hitbox of his charge attack. Sometimes it's, like, gets stored there. It's really weird. Uh, okay, that one was my bad. Am I going to die to the easiest part of the fight? Um, yeah, it's it's really weird. I've seen it happen before. It's not something introduced by them. Okay. Maybe it is something introduced by the bot. I'm going to get out of that corner. And we're going to try fighting him over here. I don't know what that was. I swear that I've seen that before, and I'm not sure exactly what causes it. Why did the music just start over? You heard that, right? The music started over. I don't know. Well, unless there's a phase three, uh, I think we're looking pretty good right now. Do it. Don't do it. Oh, he thought about it. Alright, well, there you go. Looks like that was pretty much the same. Anything over here? Nope. Ah. Well, that went uh, pretty smoothly. Pretty quickly, too. Thou hast journeyed far and Locked. overcome. Locked. We being deprived of our amazing chest? Oh, chosen undead, I. May warp to special bonfires. And besieged. We'll check that out in a second. I want to see if there's an item over here. So we obviously already had the Catonic Spark. Catonic slash Catonic. Um, I don't know if the Lord Vessel gives us more bonfires we can warp to. There is nothing over here. It is possible, I suppose. I don't know. Let's look at the list and see what uh, what it looks like. Is that actually more? Uh, I don't know. Maybe it is. Well, anyways, um, first thing we're going to do is I guess we'll go back to Firelink and... Uh, Restore the Firekeeper.
And then I was thinking maybe what we would do is go clean up uh, Where? some of the things we haven't done yet. Very like, I was thinking back, did we ever actually kill Taurus Demon? Because I kind of feel like we didn't. Let's go check that first thing. And I know it's probably kind of a waste to bring this bonfire back when I could just wait and uh, use the Lord Vessel after placing it, but... Um, cool, so yeah, first thing we'll do is we'll go check out Taurus Demon, I guess. And then after that, we'll figure out something else to do. Iron Golem, right. I knew there was another boss that I uh, had not killed yet. So we'll go do that. Apparently, uh, did I never come back here and do this either? Hey. <laughs> He's been just hanging out here all this time, because I never did that, I guess. Alright, whatever. We will hurry on our way to Taurus Demon. So now that I'm looking at it, we never even came in here, did we? I must have gone straight for... I don't even remember what I went for. But we never went down to the bottom of the watchtower either. Do I even have the key though? Uh, I don't actually know. Uh, I do remember this, so there's something a little bit different about Taurus Demon. Hey. Yep, <laughs> he's here. Oh. It's actually a good bit of design putting the uh, crossbow dude there. Because that gets you to run forward, so the Taurus Demon doesn't land on top of you and insta, you know... Oh, there's the Watchtower key. And insta-kill you. Yeah, so I must have gone back, because I remember, uh... Running up that way, and then coming here and not being... Ah, that's weird. Uh, anything up here? That would be a negative. So yeah, let's go down to the bottom of the watchtower then. And we will encounter an old friend, if you get my meaning. But we'll be ready for him. Yep, an old friend. Well. What, who did you think I meant? <laughs> well, he's going to be upset with me, but he doesn't have anything that I want, so, uh, later. Cool. Iron Golem? Ah, you know what? While we're here, before we do anything else, there is some stuff I actually need to take care of. Uh, in particular, there's an item down here that I need in order to complete one of the quest lines. Ugh. I hate doing this without the uh, rusted iron ring. Ooh. I suppose killing this guy is not actually required for what I'm doing, but... Really? Really? That's how it's gonna be, huh? That's how it's gonna be? We'll just uh, pretend that never happened.
You know, the funny thing about these enemies is that they're really not actually hard. It's just that almost everywhere that you fight them, you're at some sort of, like, terrain disadvantage. That's the only thing that really even makes them difficult. Okay. There we go. You know, I hadn't given any thought to using boss weapons. Um, I am quite partial to Quillog's Fury Sword, as you might know. But, again, it because it's a chaos weapon, having to keep 10 humanity on me at all times... Whoops. That might end up being a little bit tricky. That was a bad roll. Good thing I ain't got away. I guess I don't have time enough to uh, S this off of that. Thought I did. Stagger. The item that I need is actually not in here, it's in the uh, the next room. But I figure, as long as we're down here, might as well. Oh. Well, that makes life easier. Nice. That makes life a lot easier, actually, for this next one. They would do this, wouldn't they? Alright, the item I need is in a chest, which is... What? Probably that chest. We might consider just grabbing the item and leaving, I guess. I don't know, it's not going to take that long to kill this guy. Like this positioning. <laughs> the fact that he can just backstep through my attacks is pretty funny. That's the worst. Not again. <laughs> when you're like right up against the wall, so he just lands on you when he jumps. Oh, that's a mimic anyway, so. I wouldn't want to be fighting a Mimic and that guy at the same time. Alright, should be... Priscilla's Dagger. Excellent. So Priscilla's Dagger is part of Havel and Seath's quest line. As you may know, Seath and Priscilla are supposedly connected in the lore. And we're going to use the dagger as part of the quest line. But we're probably not going to get to that this time anyway. But at least we have it. And we'll be done with uh, Sin's Fortress pretty much. Not have to really come back in here. Now the only reason I'm doing the golem is just for completion's sake. We don't actually have to kill him because obviously we made it into... And Orlando the back way. Secret way. I swear that I rode down the cage thing, but evidently not. It's alright, we can make it pretty quickly. Alright. So, according to what I've read, I've never experienced it myself, fortunately. If we had not killed the Capricious Thrall back in the day, like a few episodes ago, um, he could actually spawn inside this boss fight, which is just an absolute nightmare to think about! Uh... <laughs> the wolf ring did me no favors there. 
Um, yeah, so that sounds horrible. As it stands, though, this looks more or less the same. He might have more damage and HP. I can't really tell. But theoretically, we should be fighting him sooner, so... Oh, that's right, I remember this. Yeah, so to make it into An Orlando, normally, you actually have to go down to the catacombs and you like... Oh, that's right. See, I, I totally remember it now. Yeah, so you have to go down to the catacombs and like the imp guys are there. And so what you do is you like return their orb or something and then they'll appear here to take you to An Orlando. Once again, kind of different, and it gets you down into the catacombs earlier than uh, you typically would go. Uh, anyways, what do we do now? Um, I guess we could go clean up gargoyles, right? Yeah, let's do that. So recall that we came here a while back, and uh, gargoyles did not spawn. We went up to ring the bell, and it said we needed heavy gauntlets. Which we now have, so I'm assuming that once we ring the bell, or maybe even before we ring the bell, <laughs> you can tell that their stats have been greatly augmented based on uh, you doing this fight later than you normally would. Not augmented enough, however. <laughs> Thus far, what I said in the uh, oh, we dropped something in the episode where we killed the Abyss and Artorius boss, uh, I said that was going to be the most difficult part of the run, and thus far that is ringing true. <laughs> nice. You know, I really, really like the uh, Gargoyle Halberd as a weapon. The moveset and everything are quite good. It's just that the damage is really... It's not great, so... It's hard to recommend it over some other weapons. But if you're looking for like a weapon you haven't used before, that's a pretty good one. I used it in a build not that long ago. I can't remember what it was. It was I think it was just like a random run that I did where I was like, hey, I haven't used this weapon before, so. All right, we should be able to ring this now. Yep. Um, then next on our list, what do we want to do? I guess we could go down and do Quilog, right? Just go for the next bell. Why not? Ooh, and I remembered something nice. <laughs> something that's going to save me a lot of time. Check this out. Up, 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 up. Yep, we got a bonfire down there that we can warp to. Excellent. Well, the poison. Okay. All right. Once again, assuming that Quilog is the same or close to the same, this should be pretty simple. So we'll just go ahead and run over there. And wow, I can't even remember the last time I ran this having the uh, rusted iron ring. It's one of those nice-to-haves that I almost never do have. I think I already explored all this uh, first time I came down here, so no need to 
linger too long. If you are looking to get across without getting poisoned, the uh, left side is a pretty good bet. Not really a big deal for me, because I do have a lot of purple moss, but if you don't, left side, like I said, usually a good bet. You know, we can probably risk this. I'm not too worried about Quilog, I don't think. And now that I'm thinking about it, I don't know what else I would need my gold pine resin for. So we might as well start burning some of those on some of these fights, right? No sense in finishing the run with a bunch of spares, right? All right, so far so good. <laughs> Looks the same. Deary me, that's uh, some pretty significant damage. This is another case of, like, normally when I come down here and do Quilog, I've just started the run and I'm just trying to, like, blaze through. Maybe haven't even leveled yet. So this is a little bit of a nice change. And I'll get the bonus souls because I have the ring equipped. Was that bonus souls? Maybe she was like 20,000 or something? I don't know. Anyways, second bill. Wait, wait, wait. Eh? <laughs> oh, I remember this. So in order to fight Nito, you have to ring the bells. That's what the bells actually do is wake him up. That's weird. I hope it doesn't teleport me there. <laughs> If it does, though, not into the world. Um, I already did Ciaran's thing. Nope, I guess that's just what we have to look forward to. Yeah, kind of weird. Kind of different. Alright, I should be able to grab this bonfire here, which will be a handy warp point. Oh, did... <laughs> This guy's actually kind of a bro. If you ever do the whole thing where you get the egghead and then come back to him, he's like, Ooh, you're not looking so good, friend. I appreciate your dedication, but uh, maybe we'll just cure you of that. It's kind of funny. Don't have any Firekeeper souls or anything, do I? Nope. Alright, we'll just keep it going. Might as well go through to Ceaseless, right? Didn't think that would work, but it was worth a shot. Looks like he's in a slightly different position than he normally is. Yeah, he definitely is. Huh. Hopefully this one plays out the same way too. If it doesn't, I'm not too worried about it. They should have no trouble killing him. You know, one of those skips that I can do, but I'm just not very good at it, is the uh, ceaseless skip, where you end up rolling down and like going across there to get through the lava without draining it. It's a pretty tough one. Um, and I've done it before, but I was never able to get it consistent enough that I could use it in a speed run. So what I did was I did this weird skip where you quit out and reload the game repeatedly and glitch through the floor on the elevator and then Plunging Attack Demon Fire Sage. It's kind of weird. It's actually pretty cool. 
but as far as I could tell, could not be done in the remaster. I think because of the FPS. Um, it's probably be the same, right? Except I should be able to run past him because he's far enough away. Yep. Now, as long as he doesn't one-shot me, <laughs> please, please, sir. Okay. So far, so good. What? Ah! <laughs> okay, uh, I don't like this. Oh no. And I'm stuck here too. Please don't, like, Chaos Firestorm me. Huh? <laughs> I definitely don't remember that from the previous run. She bowed, though. Was she, like, grateful to me? Uh, whatever. Uh, I think we're running out of time, but we'll keep going through. At least hit the next bonfire. Or hit the shortcut. And then probably call it for today. Getting a little bit nervous. I'm going to take this off. That was almost very bad there. I definitely considered taking the ring off. Uh, looks like we have less Taurus demons, so that's always a good thing. Although there are still some over there. Can't get that one, but we'll go ahead and grab this one. Hey! That's not fair. Ah, uh, uh, uh. you know I'm not fighting that guy. So those are probably like all around here. <laughs> oh, in fact, you see the discoloration on the ground right there at the tip of the claymore. Uh huh. See, you just got to be smarter than the game. Oh, I wonder if I should be getting a Kirk invasion here. Oh well. I already missed the first one down in the, the depths or whatever, so... Who is this? Oh, <laughs> he just went outside of draw distance. Ah. Uh. You know I'm not fighting that. There's no way. I don't even know how to fight these guys. Okay. I guess it can only hit you if you get close enough to the legs. Huh. Alright. Guess you could just do that if you didn't want to get near him. And over there. No bonfire here. Place your bets on whether this guy's going to be friendly. I'm going to go with probably not. Hello, sir. Definitely not. I need you to get off the stairs there. Oh.
interesting uh, fashion choice there. Hmm. I would have preferred a sword. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Oh, man, we got to do this, huh? Well, I'm not doing it right now. Hey there. Because I'm going to want to just Homeward Bone as soon as I grab that item. Is that a bonfire? Whoa! I think that guy's in a slightly different position, maybe, to prevent us from doing the uh, centipede skip, I guess. And this guy turned 360 degrees. I don't know if I really even need the spawn fire, but we'll grab it anyway. Dang it. Kind of an odd spot. Let me check how we're doing on time, and then I will be right back with you. All right, we're totally good. I'm going to go ahead and get whatever this item is, and then we'll press on through to the next part. This should be quick, because I'm not going to run back. I'm guessing it's going to be the same. Yep. Yep. Okay. Not uh, immensely useful to me, but... If you're going for chaos, that's four. Oh yeah, we already killed Demon Fire Sage. So is there no boss in here? Go check. Uh, yeah, let's check down here. Capra Demon. Oh yeah, that's a stab. That's not going to help me. Almost. There we go. You know I was never going to try and fight one of these legit, right? Oh, two for that guy. Nothing over here. You know what? We can try. We can try this door. You never know. Touched by the true fire. The Chthonic Spark, maybe? Or the Lord Vessel? Probably this. I don't know what else we would have that... Like, I don't know why the Lord Vessel would do it. I don't know. Anyways, we can go in that way. So that's worth uh, thinking about. Let's go hit this shortcut really quick, and then we'll check out Centipede Demon. Assuming that he's still there. Any boss fight? Mm, I guess not.
Hello. Hey, I don't like that. As soon as I find the very large ember, we are going to be set. As soon as I find it, <laughs> wherever the heck it is. Alright, shortcut acquired. Centipede's room. Uh, which would be this way, I guess it would be fastest still. Don't kill me. Door is open. There's no fog wall there unless it's just not rendering. He could still appear as we walk through the door, I suppose. I like that weapon, but there's really no reason to use it over the uh, Uchi Katana. Still cool, though. There's something there, but I'm not going to be able to get to that. The chest. Mm, do you think I can make it? I think I can. Oh, easily. We'll run through there as well. And see if there's something cool over there. Oh, that's the key that we got from uh, the Sluice Works. Sluice Works. Sorry, just wanted to say it again. <gasps> this is a good day. All right, I need two levels to be able to attune that. Oh, this is a very good day. That was kind of hard to see from there, too. All right, we'll check out over here, see if maybe there's something. Who knows, maybe the orange charred ring will be there, but I'm guessing we're intended to go in the other way. Ha <laughs> ha power within, baby. Let's go. Yeah, we don't even have a bonfire here. And I highly doubt that I can make that. Okay. Uh, we are almost out of time, but I'm going to finish our episode off by running into Izalith and hoping that there is a bonfire that is there soon after getting in. Uh, yeah. So let it be known that the leech does not respond, but the Capra Demon does. Hopefully there's not a... Well, even if there is a Titanite Demon on the bridge, it doesn't really matter. I'll just run past him. 
Oh, oh. No solar here, so that's a uh, something. Okay, we got a lot going on here. So, <laughs> Centipede Demon is down there, but more so, these dudes, if I recall correctly, these guys are like cut content. Who is he fighting? Hey, that's the, uh, that's the girl. Okay, I don't want her to die. Let's go sit at this bonfire. That's the, like, Daughter of Chaos NPC. What? Hello. Alright, hopefully this will reset everything. Um, shoot, can I get down there? Uh... Well, you know what, I, okay, let's back up. <laughs> I rested at the bonfire. Centipede Demon resets. Okay. Let's see what happens now. Does that mean that she just actually died automatically, though? But even if so, there was really nothing I could have done there, right? Because it's not like I can get down there. Even if I pulled him... I mean, I guess I could pull him to the branches over there, but I wouldn't have been able to do that, I don't think. Well, I don't know. I think she's dead. <laughs> Either way, though, it's probably going to have to wait till next time before we go down there and check that out. Um... Yeah, what I probably should have done. Yeah, so we're going to end here, but what I should have done, actually, now thinking about it, if I hadn't panicked, was she's doing fire damage, which means she's doing zero to him. So if I had gone down there and hit him with an arrow, even doing like minimal damage, it would have taken his aggro and put it on me, and I might have been able to kill him over on the branches, I guess. I don't know. That's a lot to process in the moment there, so whatever. We probably messed up whatever that was, but I don't think that'll mess up. Does that mean I saved you? Who knows? Why? Uh, that, as far as I know, doesn't mess up the Vulcus Pact quest line, so we should still be good there. Anyways, that is where we're going to call it. As you might imagine, next time we're going to go in and do this nonsense. But until then, I want to thank you very much for watching, as always. We gotta get two levels, and then we can use power with them. I'm excited. I hope you're excited. Uh, but we'll be excited together on the next one. Until then, everybody.